Hey guys, Nick here with TechCore Duo. Um, this video is going to be the Raspberry Pi and how to enable VNC. So what VNC does is it allows you to access the Raspberry Pi remotely. Um, VNC is enabled on other machines as well. Um, you can do it on a Mac, a Windows machine, um, a Linux machine. But um, in this particular video, we're going to show you how to do it on the Raspberry Pi. So um, I have enabled TeamViewer on this machine so that I can get a good recording and show you guys how to do it from my PC. So um, first step to enable VNC would be to go to the menu button, go to preferences, and then click Raspberry Pi configuration. We're going to go to the interfaces tab and we're going to go down to VNC and hit enabled and then hit OK. So what we're going to see at the top right is VNC. So it'll just pop up pretty quickly. Um, so now the next step is to find the IP address of this Raspberry Pi. And what I'm going to do is hover over this little up and down arrow, um, which means your Ethernet is connected. Uh, I turned off my, my Wi-Fi because I have it hardwired with Ethernet. So as you can see here, um, 192.168.1.5 is my IP address. So what I want to do is uh, download VNC Viewer and uh, put that into the search field there. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Google Chrome. We'll start from the beginning. We'll go to realvnc.com and let's go ahead and scroll down. At the very bottom, there's VNC Viewer. So we're going to click on that. And we're going to have uh, VNC Connect. We're going to have VNC Viewer. We're going to want to just click on the Download VNC Viewer 6.0.1. As you can see, I actually have a couple different versions here. Um, well, actually, they're all the same version. Just download it multiple times. But what I'm going to do is minimize the screen. I already have it on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and double click it. Okay, so it just came up. I'm going to uh, hit 192.168.1.5 in the search field here. And we're going to hit enter. It's going to go ahead and come up with the asking for the username and password. By default, the Raspberry Pi is Pi and Raspberry, all lowercase. So um, my recommendation is to change your password um, and the name uh, and your username uh, because it's not good to have uh, confidential information on here, personal information and, and having the default password for this machine. Um, anyone can just guess it. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and minimize the, the team viewer session there. Let's uh, see. So we're not able to expand it. That's uh, one, one part of VNC that's uh, a little tough there. but. It allows us to access the machine. It looks great. It's actually very fast and responsive. And that's it. So if you guys like this video, please uh, subscribe and uh, comment below. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else um, with Raspberry Pi and what I can show you. I'll be more than happy to make a video. I plan on making more of these. Great. Thanks, guys.